Lord. Yeah, it's uh, Detective Superintendent Michael Nyland, N-I-L-A-N-D, Regional Crime Coordinator for the Metropolitan South Region. Nick, what do we know about what happened last night? Look, about 1am uh, this morning, uh, police were called to a uh, block of units in Hanson Road. Uh, they were met by uh, members of, of the family there and uh, entry was gained into a uh, unit there. Did the family call police or what, what do you know about the circumstances surrounding that? Yeah, look, what we can tell you is that uh, our family uh, did call police and police attended at that address. Um, the fellow who's deceased, uh, what injuries does he have or did he have and what, what do you believe caused him? Look, what I can tell you is that there's extensive trauma to the body. Uh, an autopsy will probably be done tomorrow. What did the apartment look like inside? Have things been damaged? Have it been sort of thrown around, that sort of thing? Look, we've got our scenes of crime police there at the moment and uh, the matter is under investigation. How did police gain entry into the unit? Uh, entry was forced into the unit. So the door was locked? Entry was forced into the unit. Are you was this address known to police? Trauma to the body? Uh, at this time, all I can say is there was extensive trauma to the body. Was, was this address known to police? Was this somewhere the police have regularly attended? Look, the victim uh, uh, was 46 years of age. Uh, he's 47 tomorrow. Uh, he was known to police. What's happening now? What are police doing now? Investigations are continuing. Our scenes of crime police and scientific police are, are on site and uh, investigations will continue over the next couple of days. Who, who did he live at that apartment with? Look, what I can say is that the investigation is continuing and... Uh, Are you seeking public assistance at all for anything, like witnesses, yeah. that sort of thing? We are seeking public assistance. We ask that uh, if anyone has any, any knowledge in relation to this crime, if they could uh, contact Crime Stoppers or our major incident room. When was the last time he was seen alive? At this time we, uh, we know that our victim was alive on Friday and uh, we are conducting investigations as to uh, the last time he was seen alive. Have neighbours been able to help with it? Look, we're uh, conducting door knocks in the area and we ask that uh, anyone that has any information, if they could come forward. I, I guess the public needs speak? to know more details. Have you formally released the name? Uh, and can you tell us when he was last seen alive? The, there's been no formal release of the name and uh, investigations are continuing. And what did the scene look like? Can you describe it? Was it one of the most horrific you've seen recently? Look, what I can say is that forensic police will be there for a number of days. Is it possible that he has been dead since Friday? Look, what I can say is that the forensic police are at the scene and uh, they're conducting a thorough examination of the scene. Quite, a terrible, uh, quite a terrible thing for a family to, to find. It's it's absolutely terrible for the family. Are there any suspects? We are we are speaking to a number of witnesses, and uh, we will continue to do that during today and tomorrow. Is there anyone in particular that you are searching for, Mick, that you would like public assistance with? Uh, at this stage, we are speaking to a number of witnesses, and uh, we're not seeking anyone in particular at the moment. Have you spoken with, the, with anyone who might have lived in the unit? We've spoken to a, a number of persons and uh, investigations are continuing. Are you confident in, police will uh, solve this fairly quickly? We are confident that uh, we will resolve this matter. There's some threats made this morning by family members. Are police taking any action there? I'm unaware of any threats at the moment and uh, uh, police are conducting an investigation into the entire matter. Was there any sign of any um, forced entry into the unit? Uh, Obviously you had to force the door, but was there any sign of forced entry into any windows or other doors? What I can tell you is that we're doing a forensic examination of that unit. And, and there's been no weapon found? Uh, it's unknown if there was any weapon involved. Were there any mental health issues involved this man? This is the early stages of the investigation and uh, we will be able to uh, uh, make further comment uh, as we progress during the investigation. Was the victim himself, was he a public man? Did he go out and about that sort of thing? Was he a social man Look, or was he quite reclusive? Uh, that is unknown yeah. and uh, it's the early stages of the investigation and there's, there's not much more I really want to say at the moment. How are Thanks. your officers holding up after seeing this? Officers are holding up well. Thank you. Thanks.